Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of Trumpet Tip Tuesday. I'm here with Jordi Albert. Yeah. Albert. <laughs> Albert. The Spanish names are giving me a little bit of trouble. Um, but he, we're here in Barcelona and he mainly teaches in Castellón. And here. And here. Um, and so we were talking about um, playing with braces and he has also a system that he wants to share with you guys that doesn't involve playing. So first, um, just can you give us a little information of your background and what you do? Oh, wow. Uh, my background is, uh, I have been studying learning difficulties in trumpet learning mm -hmm. for um, the last 18 years in, uh, at the university and from the last 25 years with my own case mm -hmm. because I had some of, uh, of, of them, many of them. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was a good player when I was 13 years old and I used to play with like a soloist in my wind band you know? and uh, many people thought that I had talent you know mm. I, I don't believe believe in talent but uh, one day I lost my talent in one moment in one piece I couldn't play anymore this piece from this time until five years ago, oh, wow. or six m m more, eight <laughs> years ago. I'm getting older. <laughs> I'm forgetting the years. So, um, the, 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 when it happened to me, I it was hard, and I started to try to resolve the problem. Mm -hmm. Try trying to resolve each day, and many times I thought about uh, stop playing trumpet. Many times I thought that, oh, I'm in the correct way. And when I was 21, I decided to, to research, research about tr trumpet uh, learning difficulties. Mm -hmm. And I was studying in different universities until I had my PhD. Yes. I wrote my PhD about, of course, this topic. And uh, I'm... I have been studying neuromotor skills from one side, trumpet skills from my playing, resolving the problem mm -hmm. and uh, helping working with people with learning difficulties. Now it's like 350 cases that oh. I have taught mm -hmm. because I, I don't think that musicians can treat cases like doctors. Okay. So, uh, I have been specialized in some topics, but mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm doctor, but I'm not a medical doctor, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, um, I, I try to give the people a um, lesson, trumpet lesson, or other instruments, because other players is coming with me, are coming with me, but uh, it's a lesson, music mm -hmm. lesson. Mm -hmm. So... My idea is now work about how to prevent and how to help people that uh, is in this learning difficulty, mm -hmm. both. Because it's hard to work with people with learning difficulties, especially when they are professional players. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so one of the learning uh, curves uh, students have, especially younger players, is with braces. Yes. So um, what's one exercise that you would give to maybe a student that's been playing for a few years and then he gets braces and what's one thing you uh, can okay. show them? I'm now researching about that. Mm -hmm. And as you can, guys, I don't know if you can see, but Jordi also has braces and he got it for this research to how to overcome this. So it's really interesting stuff and I will um, put some more information later, but can you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, it's interesting and crazy. Because, <laughs> uh, this is hard for players. Mm -hmm. So the first thing, the first exercise is mental exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, have you this word? Mental, yeah, mental exercise. So when you get when you get braces, is not uh, a good sense. You will not have good sensations. Mm -hmm. This is the first thing. Uh, don't try to think about everything will be very very good. Yeah. You will feel pain. You will. 
uh, feel bad sensations playing and don't worry when you feel it it's because everything is going okay mm -hmm. you are alive <laughs> <laughs> so this is the first because if I show I will show you some exercises mm -hmm. I have not finished my research yeah. it will finish maybe in three months mm -hmm. and I, I will wrote, I will write a book but I can share with uh, the people some exercises that I, I did and especially I can share the exercises that I'm doing now with my students okay. because I did some exercises with me that uh, didn't work it mm -hmm. it's correct that? yeah so uh, this it was the craziest thing because for one of my students that I taught by Skype one hour ago take uh, took like three weeks um, the the um, from the high C to the low C playing two octaves and for me it was like three months <laughs> that's sad for me <laughs> the 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 thing with braces is try to play in the same way using the same motor skills that you will play after the braces not before the braces mm. so you, you you must use this time to change something that you want to change okay. so the exercise is try to play as well as you can mm -hmm. so the first exercise maybe is uh, blow freely the the air because when you change something the first that uh, will happen is uh, usually you will block your throat this mm -hmm. is really common when you change embouchure the big problem is not about the lips it's about the air, the air. so of, of course the lips are a big problem but uh, the first thing is try to feel the air blowing freely again so this is my sensation for reference I can speak later about that it's the way that not to think too much about okay. something inflating your cheek you can get a sensation mm -hmm. that you can use like a reference mm -hmm. can you do it for me please inflating yeah don't worry too much it's the only thing is don't blow don't blow a big amount of okay. air and Keep your body mm -hmm. a steady, straight, straight, straight. Not, you know, mm, steady. steady. And the air should be uh, the uh, constant, constant column, mm -hmm. please. So this is the first thing and mm -hmm. now this reference used to blow without inflating and without sound. And maybe you can listen here in your mind, I, I use the word inner heading projection mm -hmm. and you can uh, hear it in, in this in, uh, over the air. So this is the beginning with the with the braces mm -hmm. because recover the air, recover the ability of sound, but not thinking too much. Mm -hmm. uh, the braces are so uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Uncomfortable. Un how? Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm sorry. That keeps all your attention. Mm -hmm. So so you, you need to put your attention in a different way, in a different place of your body because everything it's of your mind will be here because it's, it's hurting mm -hmm. yourself yeah and you think about how to set your lips uh, try this is i don't like to speak too much about technique because mm -hmm. it's too too much thoughts yeah but it will be good try to put rolling a little bit over your braces mm -hmm. it's okay over yeah so it's like you can see me very yeah. well it's like a little bit over a little bit mm -hmm. in this point and 
you can play Sikovic or you can mm -hmm. play Stam. And if, if it's possible, try to find uh, naturally the sound. Mm -hmm. It's like the sound will appear without your control. Right. Again, usually I, I, I have been um, looking people uh, that is learning with braces without my guide guiding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And usually it's like too much to different sound. A lot. Usually the bad, all the bad habits that you had before mm -hmm. will appear and will be bigger, will grow up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, when, you, when you take off the braces. Yeah. No, no, no. When, when, if you had a, a bad habit before, before braces, okay, okay. when you got the braces, this habit will be there so and but bigger. Yeah. So if you had this, when you get braces, it's like mm -hmm. much worse because you feel really uncomfortable. Yeah. So this is a good exercise. And there is another one um, that um, maybe some of you can, can know about bussing. For me, bussing is really a special thing that you need, you need to do it very well. Mm -hmm. Because bussing could be very bad and could be and can be very good mm -hmm. for you. So this kind of bussing um with simple diatonic scales mm -hmm. or maybe I, I like to use this Actually, um, we met at um, Jose Schaefer's camp um, two weeks ago, about two weeks ago, about. and he showed this exercise and I couldn't figure it out, so we have to talk more okay, about this please. after. I don't want to try it now, we're going to spend okay. like 10 minutes <laughs> even more probably on it, but um, so can you explain the... Yeah, this is a bassing, but I'm using some resistance of the trumpet. Okay. So the Rolf Kinke. This, mm -hmm. uh, he, he was a uh, really important teacher, uh, uh, name it um, half bassing. Half bassing, okay. Half bassing, because it's half sound, half bassing. Mm -hmm. It's a bassing, but I'm using the resistance, so it's really close to play the trumpet, because that is it's not the true playing, mm -hmm. it's yeah. different, yeah. it's good. And if you try to play this hull bassing or your bassing, normal bassing, here, your body can normalize the sensation with braces. Mm. But with press without pressure. Right. So that I like to do the second and third week after braces. Mm, okay. The first week that you uh, get braces, the, f the best that you can do it is not play. Mm -hmm. Don't look for the trumpet. Yeah. Forget that you play trumpet because you have bad feelings uh, eating food, mm -hmm. sleeping, yeah. always yeah, is bad. Uncomfortable. Yeah, because second day especially you, it hurts. Mm -hmm. So as a teacher, first week maybe we want to just focus, give air exercises like we talked earlier. First week you can be free. <laughs> <laughs> it's your uh, it's your week. your price <laughs> to to get to get braces. I think the first week is not a good week. Yeah, it, the sensations will be very bad. Mm -hmm. Everything, and before to do, to do this experiment, I always say to my students, Ah, oh, don't worry. Don't worry, it will be okay. Now I say it will be bad. First week, 
it will be bad because if you say to the students, oh, don't worry, anything will happen. Yes, something will happen. You have some wire here that you hadn't. You have some pieces of uh, uh, mm. metal, metal that you hadn't. Everything will change. Mm. So the, 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 the thing is, it will be hard, but you can get it. So. It's possible to play, mm -hmm. but it was not uh, easy for me. Yeah, I can't imagine the. So the process. the process. I I have recorded some <laughs> videos during the process, <laughs> and it was crazy. I, I, at the beginning, I could play like that. second week but I, I didn't like it mm -hmm. and I started to learn again I have learned to play trumpet five times in my in my life the first time like I, I forgot mm -hmm. everything from this time when I was 14 I learned again from this problem when I when I had a, a broken teeth mm -hmm. I fixed it and I learned the, the, this part, I, I lost this part, so I learned again without, and this, it was the last time. Mm -hmm. And I have the teeth fixed now, yeah. and the braces. And for me, learning trumpet is like an addiction. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I got braces because I wanted to feel again what means learning trumpet. Mm -hmm. And put in the situation of be a completely new learning. And you know, you know what? It's, that's interesting. I could play 10 IM the day that I got braces. Mm -hmm. They uh, put me the braces, put, put me the braces at 10:30, mm -hmm. and I couldn't play at 11. That's this is good. this is braces. I I could play something, but it, it was crazy. I have some videos. I will show you some videos that I recorded before and after this day. Uh -huh. This is crazy. Do you have it online? No, or it's, it's for the research. Okay, I will okay. show you private and <laughs> when I when I finish everything because it I think it will be something that can help many people. Right. So the thing is now this these two exercises to begin and mm -hmm. I will share with uh, you and, and, and your people uh, more exercises when I finish. I, right. I the thing is I'm not sure what is the best. I'm applying that with me and with 45 cases of my students, 45 mm -hmm. is a good amount, and with 110 cases of other students, uh, Skype online and giving mm -hmm. the exercise, not directly with okay. me. So when I finish that with all the, the cases, I, can, I will can say, do this and this. Mm -hmm. But this exercise that I, show, I showed before, this will be good for you because give you, yes. Mm -hmm. Keep you blowing, keep your body in a good posture, keep you breathing, keep you buzzing but not okay. When you, you do the half buzzing, try to be relaxing your, your jaw, mm -hmm. relax your face, and play piano. And you will keep playing trumpet because at the beginning I wanted to play from the first day and it, it was a really bad uh, decision. Mm -hmm. I stopped it two weeks and after I had to present my uh, dissertation so it took me three weeks more and it was really good because this, this time it was good for my body to understand that there, is a new situ there was a new situation in my mouth mm -hmm. and to keep relax my body and this exercise at the beginning and later try to came from this halbassing press a little bit and create a sound usually it changes like a four only with a little bit of pressure mm -hmm. and from the sound that you get that you get Try to vocalize.
likes as much as you can. If you are one of these trumpet players that like used to move, the braces will give you many problems. Yeah. Because you cannot move your your lips because the braces is like an anchor. Anchoring. Anchoring. And if you move too much, you cannot recover the the old you play later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's difficult to recover yeah. again because these pieces. So if you, the best that you can do is use this time to play exercises that keep you in the same position. It's a dynamic position, but not moving too much. Mm -hmm. Like that one. I, this is one of the exercises. students you just would you just develop it no um, the so first exercise is this one Because when you play load, you need to keep your lips uh, forcing a little bit to mm -hmm. keep the air passing through. So if you play piano or mezzo piano, you will control easily the mm -hmm. trumpet at the beginning. For example, to study... Pianismo gave me many results, mm -hmm. and especially Sikovic or stamp exercises with vocalization. Like I like to start with B flat in this trumpet. sound 
two days before. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine that? Yeah. The same exercise, exercises were not sounding. So I started to trust in different exercises and I was with uh, Ken Larson mm -hmm. and in Michigan teaching there but we were studying together in the morning and he showed me how he was studying stamp really pianissimo and it well it helped me a lot okay at that moment and maybe and this is when you first got basis yes when i it was like four more fourth month okay and now i'm nine more mm -hmm. with braces so with the braces to recap um at the beginning you just want to focus on having nice easy air yes not really applying any pressure but just making sure the air is flowing because that's the first thing that that will yeah. tend to go away and then the second the half buzzing half buzzing using this setting on your lips yeah and we're not trying we want to have a firm uh, set here because if we move around it's not going to be yeah. not going to be possible and also doing like flow studies like the stamp or chickowitz with a, um, a piano playing pianissimo Yes. Yeah. It, it will help you. It, it will help you a lot mm -hmm. with with braces, and it will help you without braces too. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> so, um, I I I will share more exercises when I finish the researching with mm -hmm. all the cases. But basically, this is some of the most interesting thing that I I have been discovering. Yeah. About that, and most important is if you have teacher, you need to. Be sure that your your teacher will help you, mm -hmm. and trust in your teacher. This is the most important thing. YouTube videos are really good, but your teacher know about you. Mm -hmm. Is correct? Yeah. Can you say it better than me, please? That that idea. Well, you said you said it really okay. good. Okay, yeah. this is very important because I'm trying to understand that, mm -hmm. but the teacher is trying to help you from the last maybe five years yeah and usually I, I don't know about you mm -hmm. that you are I, I need something about you yeah but not about who is looking this video this is a really good uh, advertisement have you said that uh, com, com, com mm -hmm. and your teachers should be better than a YouTube video yeah <laughs> you know yeah so I'm sure that all of them, all of them want to help the people. So this is a very important thing because many, many of, of us mm -hmm. is always looking different things. And if you want to, to study with somebody, go to study with this person. This is the thing all, all the time. And uh, of course about braces, you have different situations, different temperatures, different needs. Need needings? How do you mm -hmm. say that? Yeah, needings. Yes. For example, you are. I have many mariachi players mm -hmm. in my studio, especially in the Skype studio, and some of them need to play. And one of my ideas of braces is stop playing the first six weeks, and they cannot stop because they need money. So I need to to apply of my methodology to this situation. I have mm -hmm. no. I have some ideas about how to teach, but it's not the same. In any case, it's the same teaching. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm sure that the majority of teachers can uh, guide your learning, and maybe they, you can speak about yeah. these things, and maybe they can look the video. I don't know. Yeah. And so, if people are having problems with braces, or they have any other trumpet learning um, problems, how can they get in contact with you? Facebook, mm -hmm. you know, the social network, networks, and email in my webpage okay. with my name, jordialbert.com. Okay. I will also put all that information in the description. So um, again, I, I learned a lot, so uh, maybe we can talk more <laughs> off camera, but thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you the show. for your channel. Yeah. Um, and I'll put all this information if you want to get in contact with him, uh, it will be in the description. So thanks again, and I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. Goodbye.